drill through is one of the most practical functions in Power BI that allows the users to navigate from one specific visual to, a, to another page in your Power BI report in order to get more information on one specific category in that visual. So let me first demonstrate how this works. In my dashboard here, I have a couple of visuals and for example, in this visual here, I have a comparison to plan and certain categories are below the plan. For example, my mobile business unit here is $30,000 below the plan and right now I'm interested in why. So what were further categories that contributed to this um, negative uh, variance to plan here? So one of the ways how you do that is by uh, displaying this information in the tooltip. However, the drill through allows the user to right click on the, the specific category, in my case the mobile business unit, and select the drill through and by clicking on a menu here, I'm now navigating to a completely another page where the mobile business unit is selected and I have a full report with a lot of details um, where I have the breakdown by, for example, a country and other details. So whatever you put on this page will be filtered by the mobile business unit in order for uh, the end users to understand what is going on within this mobile business unit. Once uh, the uh, user is familiar with the details, he can simply click on the back button and we are back to our landing page in our dashboard. So the uh, drill through is a technique uh, that is typically used in order to navigate from a master page to a detail page and back. How do we set this up in Power BI? It is actually quite easy, so let me explain the key steps in order to implement this. So first of all, you need a new page. You need a page that uh, the user will navigate to. So let me add our first page. All right, completely empty page. And now of course you can do anything that you want on this page. So I will create a table here. Um, where I'll compare my actual sales with my previous year, maybe also plan, so um, like that. And I will do a breakdown by country. All right, so a lot of details here. This is supposed to be a very detailed page. Okay, so now I have all of my countries. Let's quickly design it like that, maybe move the plan here. All right, so this is my table that will explain the, the, the breakdown and I will do one more thing here. I will also add the name of the um, uh, group of business units that I'm actually using as a drill through uh, parameter here. So I will add a multi-row card, for example, put in the uh, group field. So this is exactly the field that I was using in my original visual here. And also I'll put this somewhere on the top, make it smaller. Okay. Right now this is not filtered. So in my cart here, I'm getting all of my um, business units, right? But when the user will actually click on the drill through, of course, exactly only that business unit will be filtered and displayed in my card here. Okay, so now that we have a page, there's one more simple step to make it a drill through page. Okay, so what do you do? You take again the field for the drill through. In my case, this is the group of business units and move it in the placeholder for the group for the drill through fields. So this. This is it. From now on, this page will be visible to all of your visuals in all the other pages in, in this report uh, and you will be able to use it as a drill through page. Okay, one more thing that happens completely automatically, Power BI will add 
the back button automatically here. So it's a simple button that Power BI has automatically generated and it already works uh, when the user will click on this button, they will navigate back to the page from where they did the drill through. All right, so the uh, page is set up. I go back to my landing page, okay? And now you need to select your visual for the drill through and one more thing, you select the visual and if this visual has the same field, so in my case this is the uh, group of business users, uh, uh, group of business uh, units, right? So this is the field here, it's in my category and because the uh, uh, page is already set up for this particular data field, uh, the drill through will already work. All right, so you will see by when you right click on, on a certain category like the mobile business unit, right click, you will see the drill through item in the menu and also you will see all the pages where this field is used as a drill through uh, field. Okay, so in my case, in my case, I now have two pages. The first one is the original one uh, that I prepared in advance and the page number one is my new page. Okay, so let's test if this works, I'll select page number one and it seems to work. As you see here on the top, the mobile business unit uh, is filtered and the results here in the visual are, are filtered for the mobile business unit. So I see the split of my sales, my, my plan, my previous year by country for this mobile business unit and by navigating here, clicking on a button, I'm back uh, in my landing page. So this is the basic technique um, uh, on, on how to implement the drill through um, by using the right click, um, right click action on a visual. So to wrap up this part of my demo, um, first of all create a page, um, second uh, add the field for the drill through uh, in the drill through placeholder on that page and then the, um, uh, the drill through will be already automatically available in all the visuals where this particular field is uh, used on the visual. All right, so this was the basic technique. Uh, however, there is one more improvement that uh, you can actually um, implement in Power BI, namely uh, you can also use the drill through buttons. In my example here, I can click on the mobile business unit in this visual and what happens is once only one business unit is selected, I got another button. All right, so, so this is a button that is on my page and it works as a drill through button, meaning that when I actually click on a certain category, this button will become visible and will uh, contain the action of the drill through. So it's, I would say it's just a, a better user experience, right? So maybe it's easier for the end user to actually just click on this button instead of right clicking on a specific category. So, so this is an alternative way how you can also support the drill through by adding buttons uh, to your uh, dashboard pages. So it works exactly the same as the basic technique, only that the button is displayed whenever the user will select one single row here. So as you see, I can use this button to drill through into any of the selected categories. So how do you create this? How do you create this button? So let me remove the button from my report. Okay, so you start by going navigating into the um, uh, to the insert tab in Power BI and simply insert a button. Okay, and we'll start with a completely blank button. Okay, just inserting a button here. I'll place it somewhere at the bottom of my report here, close to the visual where, where the drill through will actually work. And um, now let's uh, add some text to the button. So this will be like drill 
drill to country. Okay, so this is the text for my button. And very important, in the action group of settings, turn this to on to enable the drill through action and change the type of the action to drill through. Okay, so from now on, this button is a drill through button. And the only thing left here is to select the page where the click on a button should actually lead to. So this will be, for example, my new page, page one. Okay, and uh, now the button should already work. So let's click here, test it. I'm clicking on my mobile business unit. As you see, the button gets activated and now the user can simply click on the button and he will drill into the mobile business unit, uh, see the, the page and again, go back to my original report. So this is an alternative way um, or probably a, a slightly better user experience uh, for the end user. Now, of course, you can now design this button um, exactly how the button looks like um, when the button is, is uh, disabled uh, or when it is enabled, when the user actually clicks on it. So um, maybe a couple of tips here. So for example, you can uh, change the color of the button when the user, uh, when the button is, is active, when the drill through is possible. So uh, if you want to do that, simply switch the fill to on. And now you will see that the button has different states. Okay, so the disabled means that the button, the drill through is not possible. So the user hasn't clicked already. Um, so this is the disabled state. The default state is when uh, the button is actually enabled. Okay, so let's change this, change the fill color maybe to, to, to yellow like that to make it visible transparency to zero, so it's bright yellow. And um, maybe one more thing, the outline. Um, now I have this border around the, 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 the button, so it's a... Let's change this to yellow as well. And uh, if you want to make the, the, the button uh, slightly rounded or something, you can actually uh, increase the number of pixels here for the rounding. So in this way, we got, um, okay, I still have the frame here, outline, sorry, like this, so it's yellow. All right, so this is nice and clean and it will be yellow only when the uh, drill through is possible. So when I click, my button gets yellow, I can click on it, okay. If you want to hide it completely when drill through is not enabled, so then you can actually also hide the text in the button. So let me click once more. You see here under button text, you can actually specify that when the button is disabled, there is no text. So simply delete the text for the state, for the disabled state of the button. Okay. And in the default state, I still get the text. Okay. So now my button is completely hidden uh, when it is uh, disabled, but when the user will click, the button is shown uh, and the drill through works nicely in my report. I hope that this uh, technique will help you um, help you create better reports, better user experience and more interactive reports. So uh, I encourage you to, to try this button. It works, uh, try this function, the drill through, and it works especially, especially well in the, the landing pages and the first pages of your dashboard. So make sure you use this function. Um, also make sure to download the example from our knowledge base and uh, learn uh, about similar tricks uh, that we have collected in the Zebra BI knowledge base.